Question number 8. Diagram 5 shows 9 letter cards. 3 cards are chosen at random. Find the number of ways to choose the cards if the 3 cards include... Okay, first of all, before we go to the question, they said they want 3 cards. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now, the question, first question says that exactly one letter M and exactly one letter A. So, first of all, we are just going to choose three cards, right? It doesn't matter the arrangement. It doesn't matter the C have to be here or the M have to be there, you know, it doesn't matter. So, we're just going to choose. So, we're going to use combination. So, in this case, they say exactly one letter M. So, how many M here? One, two, right? So, out of the two, you just have to choose one. So, that means 2C1. Okay. Next, exactly one letter A. So, how many A here? We got 1, 2, and 3. So, you got 3 letters, 3 A's, and then you just have to choose 1. Okay. And then, the last one, remaining. How many remaining we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you got 4. You just have to choose another one. So you multiply all of this, you should get your answer. Okay, I write down here. So 2C1 times 3C1 times 4C1. Answer is 24. Okay, that's your first answer. Next, at least one letter M. At least, it says at least. What, what does that mean? That means we got two situation. At least means minimum, right? Minimum one. So that means I can have 1M or I can have 2M. Okay, so you can do them separately. Okay, find the, the scenario where there's only 1M and you can find another scenario where there, there are 2Ms. Or the easier way is you can straight away take total. Okay, that means uh, having all possible ways total minus no M. We can also do that. Okay. Both ways will give you answer. So we'll do both ways. Okay. The first one. Okay. Let me see the cuts. Okay. So the first one, we want only one M, right? So we got three cuts here, only one. So two M, we just have to take one. Okay. Then the remaining here, how many more remaining besides the two M? So we got 9, right? So 2 of it is M, so we got 7 more. So these 2 here will be out of the 7, you just have to choose 2. Okay, so you multiply this, you get 42 ways. Okay, now what if I want 2, two M? So 2 M means out of the 2 letters there, I'm going to choose 2 to fill up the 2 slots here. And then... The remaining is 7, right? So 7, I just have to choose 1. So I should get 7 ways. So when you add them up, you should get 49 ways. Okay, this is one way you can do. The second way, the sh easier way is you find the total. Total means what? Total means you got 9 cards, right? So 9, you just have to choose 3. Okay, that is the total. Minus no M. So that means there are 9 cards, right? 2 of it is M. So that means if I don't have any M, that means I left with 7 M. Sorry, 7 other cards and I just have to choose 3. Okay, all 7 cards not including the M and then choose 3 to fill up the 3 slots. So when you minus them, you should straight away get your answer 49 ways. Okay, next. Diagram 6 shows 12 cars Oh, sorry, 12 car parking space in an area. There are three cars needed to park randomly in that area. Find the number of possible arrangement of the cars if there is no restriction. So first of all, there are three different cars here, right? Three different cars. So in other words, the arrangement will matter, correct? If you arrange, let's say this A, car A, car B, car C. If I arrange A, B, C, or A, C, B are considered two different ways, two different arrangements. So that means the arrangement will matter. So the question one says that if there is no arrangement, so how many slots here? 
how many parking lots so he got 3 12 total got 12 so question the first one out of the 12 you have to pick 3 12 p3 okay that is all the different ways you can arrange the three cars so it's one three two zero ways okay this one is no restriction okay next none of the cars are parked next to each other so none of the cars are parked next to each other okay so this this is the thing none of the car park next to each other so what we can do is we can find the same as the previous question we find the total Total means no restriction, so we can use back this answer. The total minus, so they say none of the car parked together. So we can minus three cars parked together. Three cars together. Okay, and then we can minus two cars together. Okay, so total minus three cars together minus two cars together. So f total we already know, which is one three two zero minus okay three cars together. So three cars together that means the first option is all three in this place, right? All three here. So that means we can use three p three. Okay, out of these three cars, all going to fit into these three slots. So three p three. But you can also fit in here here and here so there are four possibilities so that means you have to times four okay that's the first option when three cars are together clear all right well, let me just write this down uh, give me a minute so three p three times four possible option okay now we're going to look at two cars together so two cars together let's say let's say we have two cars here we take these two slots here and then one of the other car because i cannot put in here right if i put in here it will be three cars together which we have already calculated so we cannot use that so two cars will be here and then the remake the one more car will be in one of these doesn't matter where okay so here will be um three cars you have to pick two lah, to fit into these two slots and then the one more remaining car can be anywhere in this remaining nine lots here okay so that means nine p one okay these nine slots you just have to pick one for the one more car and then this the other two car will be in these two slots okay so this is the first possibility but of course the two cars because now we are counting for two cars together right so the two cars don't not necessarily have to be here it can also be decide this these two slots correct so there's another option here and here they are still together two cars next to each other so here got first option second option it can also be here it can also be here can also be here can also be here can also be here and can also be here so how many options are there here got one option, two option, three option, four option, five option, six option, seven option, eight options. So that means you have to times eight. Okay, there are eight different possible options. Clear? So we just write this here. 9P1 times 3P2 times 8. Okay, so what you will get is... 1, 3, 2, 0, minus, here should get 24 ways, minus uh, 4, 3, 2. So your final answer will be 864 ways.